Hey, this Google tip is going to take a look at the one of the latest updates in Google Classroom where students are going to be able to use drawing tools on the assignments using the Classroom mobile app. Uh, so here's a here's the context for how this may work. I'm going to look at and share the, that app. I also want to take a look at a way in which you can create a, a common form of assessment. So just looking at social studies, one of our priority standards is to be able to recognize fact and opinion just so you understand that this is based off a potential example. I just jumped over to CNN this morning and I found this article on coffee that it may be genetic. Now as I started to read through this, I saw there's opportunities for fact and opinion built into this article. Way too much stuff going on. So what I did was just simply copy and paste this article into a new Google Doc. And I just eliminated everything I didn't want. I probably don't even need these pictures, but I kept them in there just for the sake of time. And this is the article. And I would obviously put a link um, to give credit to where it's due. And now I have it. And you can label it whatever you want. Once you have this, you can go to your classroom, in which I've already made this already, and I made an assignment. And what I've done is I just had to label the assignment, simple instructions, open up the document, highlight in red two facts, and highlight in blue, uh, this would be two opinions. And then you can do whatever it is that you want. I went to my drive, I loaded it up, I made each student will get a copy, blasted it out. By now you should know how to push out those assignments. Once that's there, you're ready to go. From the computer angle of things, a student could go in here on the computer and actually then, because he has his own copy or her own copy, they could highlight a fact and they could just simply highlight. They could, they could make it just like that, not hard to do. You could do this paper version as well. You could print off an article and share it. There's that. But there is now another way. If a kid doesn't have a computer, and we know we don't have our Chromebooks yet, what you could do is have them use their phone or device, if they have it, to get it done. So let's take a look at what that looks like from the Classroom mobile app interface. So what you're looking at here is actually the screen of an iPad. This can be true for any device, iPhone or other sort of tablet or phone. This is the Google Classroom app that a student could use. And so just so you understand the interface of, of, of what you're looking at here. Um, along with that, this is just my, uh, my son's account and he's being gracious enough to let me hack into it. So what you see here is the common formative assessment. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this up. It's gonna take them to the document. Now what you can do that's nice with the app, you can see in the top right corner, there's a share option and there's a pen. And so if I were to go through and hit this pen, I'm gonna get several options. Um, what it's gonna allow me to do is it's going to allow me to, I can highlight text. The other thing I can do is I can get a highlighter. I can also go through and mark things up. I can type. There's a whole plethora of options at my disposal that I could do to make this work. So I have the pen, we've got marker, we've got highlighter, I can select a shape, I can erase, and I can add a note. So if my common formative, as we stated before, is to highlight two truths in red um, and two opinions in blue, what I can do is I'm going to head over to, I can use marker or highlighter. For this sake, I'm going to use the highlighter. So I'm going to hit the highlighter option, and I can tap the button again, and I can choose my color. So red right there, and I can then go through and I can start to highlight. Now obviously that's not what I want for the sake of this assessment, so I'll go ahead and erase that. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the page that I want. Okay, I'm reading. There it is. I see, I'm going to make this a little bit larger, red, and here is a, a fact that I'm going to mark. 
there's a fact, and here is a fact as well. Then I'm going to go over here to my, my blue, and I'm going to mark what I think are opinions. And I can see here, let's see, I think an opinion, and I can find one more. Um, let's see what we can find here. Uh, it doesn't matter for the sake of this. Let's say that's an opinion. Now, the kid hits that save button at the top. It's gonna save their work. You can see that it's gonna edit common form of assessment, there it is, it makes a copy of it. I could then hit turn in. I'm gonna turn this in because it's, we marked it on a document, it converts it to a PDF. We now see it's submitted. So now let's flip back to the teacher side and you can take a look at how this works on the interface. So now I'm back in teacher mode here. I'm gonna head down to my demo class where that assignment was posted. I can see now that one was done. I'm going to go to this work, and I can see now with Aiden, there's two attachments. What I can do here is I can see this is the document that I had shared. Here's the edited version, and now I can take a look at this, and I can see where he highlighted, um, and boom, there it is. And I can go through, and now I can leave my notes or messages. There it is. Pretty straightforward. It's right there in the work. I could post this as a grade. I can just mark it as done if I don't want to leave a grade on here necessarily. And I can then return it. Um, good job. Three on four as one red. Highlight is not an opinion. And what I would probably do if I was in the class, not probably what I would do, is I would have these canned comments just to keep it easy. I would just copy and paste them in as needed. And then, boom, return that. There it is. And then I could go right on to the next person. So in closing, I've showed you just a very short aspect to the opportunity in Google Classroom on the Google Classroom app to be able to draw right on documents and save it and make it work. I will link this support page in the blog post as well so you can take a look at it and see the different options. This will also be a badge or a badge system. But more importantly, I want you to just think that there is more than one way to get the information that you need. You know, if you're thinking of a common form of assessment, you now have many things at your disposal depending on your comfort zone. You could send out a Google form you could now send out a Google document in which they could highlight on their Chromebook or computer. They could also then use the app and highlight to make notes and shapes right there through their device, which is probably how a lot of kids are going to operate in this world in this day and age. You know, and the same system could work in paper and copy. And so one assessment can now be delivered in a variety of ways, getting the same work, getting the same input to make our lives easier, as well as helping kids share and showcase their learning in ways they feel comfortable. I hope you found this helpful. If you have questions, let me know. I love to make your life as easy as possible and continue to show many different ways in which Google tools and technology should not be an add-on, but simply another way to streamline the learning process. Take care.